This is protecting fans, and protecting fans is against a left punch followed by a right punch. And the interesting uh, concept behind this technique is you're actually using an inward parry against that left punch, which is putting you, the defender, in a vulnerable stage. So whether you want to assume maybe you made the mistake and you flinched the wrong way, which will happen in the street, um, or uh, whatever scenario you want to make up, this is a technique that gives you an out from that mistake. And this is my take on it, okay? So, protecting fans, we're gonna start with our left foot forward, right foot back. The guy's coming in with a left, right punch. I'm going to meet that left oncoming straight punch with an inward parry with my left arm, okay? And you'll see this, uh, what I'm talking about on Sensei Gig uh, in a couple minutes. But that action right there leaves me very vulnerable. I've now almost cross-checked myself by uh, adding that angle of, of cancellation to my own width by inward parrying that left arm. The opponent shoots the right. Now I'm going to bob and weave by changing my height underneath and catch that right arm right up above the elbow with an outward knife. So I want you to think of a chop. Okay, I'm gonna kind of monkey paw grab a hold of their shoulder or arm there as I launch off of my left leg and kick the inside of their left knee or femoral artery, poking the eye with my left hand. I land forward, I'm gonna use my left as a checking hand, poxaling their right arm down, and doing a downward angle elbow straight into the solar plexus, chest plate, boom. Now from here, the textbook says windshield wiper. We do have another variation for you, but the windshield wiper would be eye slice, eye slice, and on that second eye slice, I go through the eyes here. When I scoop through the next one, I'm gonna use a scooping kick to the groin, with an inserted chop to the neck as I scoop the eye. Just like that, cross out, step back, on guard, okay? That's your outline. Let's go ahead and take a look at it on Mr. Gay. Sir? So as he comes in, here's that moment that, oh, I made a mistake. I used that inward parry, which leaves me very vulnerable to this next move there. So I have to work with that. Maybe I even get clipped. That's something we can play with in the what if phase. So as he comes in, one, two, there's that next uh, block here. I'm in a forward bow, okay? From this position, I launch off my left uh, leg, kicking him in his thigh or his femoral artery uh, inside me of that left leg and poking his eye. Bam. From that shot there, I pox out that arm down, slapping it down, checking, and then striking down in the solar plexus with that elbow. I have my windshield wiper eye slice. When I come back the other way, I shoot the chop, boom, right into the uh, throat, cross out, step back, on guard. Okay, let's give that a try on the other side. And I'll give you the variation this time, a small little variation that some people resort to, and it's really not wrong, it's just not the textbook of the windshield wiper. Okay, so as he comes in, one, two, kick, land, strike. Now here's that variation, instead of going up and over, we can always, once we strike here, go over, I mean down and over. So we go down and then shoot back up with that next strike. Back on guard, okay? So one time, closer to speed. Comes in, one, two, pop, land, and bam, right out. Okay, sir? And that would be, what is it, Mr. Game? Protecting fans. That's it, it's one of those fans, protecting fans.